Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now, as I've mentioned in my last couple of videos that I said I had to go ahead and get a bookcase built for my masks, well, that's what we're going to be doing here in the next couple of days. It is more or less a do-it-yourself. I'm going to walk you through some of the stages of creating this shelf. It will be simple compared to the other ones that I built uh, maybe two years ago, uh, but it's going to be the same color, so it's going to match up well in the room and stuff but the actual uh, shelf in itself is going to be six feet wide and five feet high so I should have enough room for maybe one two three possibly four shelves uh, the very top shelf being I'm going to put all my Funko Pops on that top shelf I think it'll look cool and on the very top shelf I'll put my bigger masks on there and I should have enough room as I keep collecting when it comes to the masks it should accommodate, you know, it should be big enough for all the uh, masks that I get, okay? So right now I think I've got an average of, of the full face masks that are on styrofoam. Possibly, maybe 12. I'll slowly build them up. The other ones that I have on my wall, I'm going to leave them on the wall, okay? With maybe a few exceptions, especially with the Plague Doctor masks. But anyway, this is what I've gotten so far. We're going to walk you right straight through it. These are six foot pieces that were originally 12. We had them cut at Lowe's. So, and there is a total, I believe, five of them here. There's two, three, four, five. Yep, total five, okay? So now there's five for a reason. There's going to be the bottom shelf, the top shelf, and three shelves in between. Now these are going to be your sides, so just so you can see how big it might look. Um, it's not too bad, you know what I'm saying? I'll show you once it gets assembled. And we're going to start it on possibly maybe tomorrow. Or, yeah, I'm definitely going to try to get it done to us. Get it started tomorrow. Get it framed out. Get it all set. And then the wife is going to end up staining it. And polyurethane it. Now here is what I'm using for the actual stain. It's the same exact stain that I actually use for my other shelves. Okay? It is a full can, so we're good to go here. It is a brown mahogany, so it's a dark uh, stain. Polyurethane is definitely going to be another thing. I'm going to put a, a nice gloss on it. Now, the only exception with this one here, I'm not going to frame it out with molding or put a backing on it. I'm just going to put it against the wall and throw the masks on the shelf, so keep that in mind. But anyway, that's what the uh, plan is so far, and I will walk you through this as time progresses okay in the meantime you guys have yourselves a good day and i will see you at the next assembly okay bye okay we are back as i mentioned before in the last video i showed you the wood to the actual shelf well we just go ahead and uh went ahead and constructed it a little bit as you can see it is a little bit different the actual bottom spacers in between are approximately 16 inches and your mask are roughly anywhere to 12 to 15 inches in height and as you can see here it actually clears quite well okay and over here especially the ones with the hair as you can see it just barely touch on the top shelf so it clears perfectly now I do have a couple of Frankenstein masks that are bigger in that case I put them up on the very top shelf here especially if they're huge okay but as you can see in the center here these are my Funko Pop clowns okay I will probably line this entire thing up with Funko Pops it depends on what I want to do it is a smaller shelf I can't put no masks in it simply because it's just not big enough it's more or less just for the bottom three to accommodate all my masks now I got some wall ones I'm not gonna put them on here I'm gonna leave them on the walls but I will slowly be building up and buying new ones 
and now I got a place to put them instead of scatter them all over the room now as you can see here it is not quite completely finished yet because I got to yet stain it and at the same time I got a polyurethane it with this particular stain right here all right now that is in fact a brown mahogany it's a very dark stain it works out perfect on this and it's the same color as my two other bookshelves as you can see the wife she just had to bring in some more masks as you can see it's going to work out perfect all right okay so with that in mind I'm also using mini wax when it comes to the polyurethane type situation I'll probably throw one or two coats on it let it dry and then take it into the house I already got the house cleaned out ready to go for it and then I got to move my other shelves on the other wall it's going to take a lot of work but we'll get it done but so far this is what it looks like okay it's a work in progress the wife is going to probably end up staining it and polyurethaning it once it dries we'll take it into the house and I'll show you the final results but as you can see the shelf in itself all right, obviously it clears the mask perfectly and you can probably put at least seven to maybe eight if you're lucky masks across on each shelf and it is made of a heavy pine okay it's not your standard uh, bookshelf uh, for the most part we did, did some, some uh, research couldn't find anything to accommodate that so we went ahead and decided to go ahead and build it but that's what it looks like so far I'm going to show you the end results here just in the next video or in the next video clip okay see you guys later be right back hello everyone welcome back now I tried to bring out my video camcorder but the lens because it was cold inside the house fogged up on me so I couldn't do anything so I'm using my phone uh, phone's camera just to show you what it looks like so far the actual shelf in itself is actually stained right now we still got to do some more to it and we got to brace it up a little bit so just so it's you know stay strong because it's still a little rickety because there's no back support on it I don't have no uh, backboard I might do that further down the line but I want to show you what it looks like up uh, close right now as you can see and I will show you the end results once we get it all um, polyurethane get it dry and get it in the house and get it loaded with all kind of masks and my Funko Pops then you'll see the end results and I'm thinking about actually throwing some uh, maybe Halloween lights or something along the lines on this shelf just to look make it look a little interesting and I'm also on the side here gonna probably put my dollar masks all the way up and down the shelf here like I did with my other shelf but this is what it looks like so far okay it's just simply stained pine with a mahogany type uh, stain and it will be polyurethane maybe one or two coats and we're going to brace it up so it's a little stronger but outside of that that's pretty much it in a nutshell okay all right so that with that in mind i will see you in the final video you have yourselves a good day for now